Three years ago, our team competed for the first time in Stuttgart. But now we are back. We are faster, lighter and stronger. The Extrados team has grown widely in these three years, from being barely five members and a professor to having more than 30 students contributing to this endeavor. We are members of Eurabia Valencia, Associated to Generación Espontánea, a special department of the Universidad Politécnica de Valencia that gives financial support to projects like ours. Most of our team comes from the School of Design and Engineering at this university. And we receive help and equipment from the CMT, the Marine Center. There are many names to mention, from which the most important ones are uh, the Seed, Generación Espontánea and UPB, as they finance this project that has a total cost of 6,000 euros, for which the 80% is the inscription and flights. There are also others that support us in different ways, like Siemens and ANS ATS, who provide us with, li with licenses for CFD and structural analysis. We also collaborate with two our modeling clubs, La Bella and Ala Partida, who provide us with flying fields. Ala Partida is in the municipality of Favara, where we have flown many, many times. This is why our prototype is named after the town. Now, it's time to talk about the design, born from the requirements that we all know and have fought against to build the best possible model. We have focused our mission on doing the best climbing as possible, as well as making sure that we get the bonus point for short takeoff. Of course, maximum payload is something we pursue, but it's been considered a secondary goal. About the electronics, mostly determined by the regulations of the competition, we have as a result the following electronic circuit scheme, where the secondary battery moves the metallic servo motors. These have been changed from some plastic gear used in the past to metallic, which are much more reliable. The thrust model results in the following graph, which is the thrust provided by the manufacturer, applying a correction of the static values. These corrections have been characterized by means of a basic test bench built in our workshop, as if we weren't able to access the university with tunnels. For structural design, we have chosen four main materials. Aluminum for the joints in the motor and in the front landing gear. Balsa wood for the main wing and for the empennage. Three pin the PLA for the joints in the empennage, some pins in the folder flap, as well as all the mounts used in carbon fiber lamination. The carbon fiber has been used for laminating the shape of the leading edge, winglets and cargo bay of the aircraft, being this year the first time the team has used this type of technique. The fuselage and main landing gear are commercially available pieces of carbon fiber. The fuselage is longer than the transportation box, so we have had to cut it in half and put it together with a clamp. The cargo bay has been remodeled several times, with many different shapes, structures, sizes, materials and coverings. But finally, it is made of two pieces of carbon fiber, vacuum laminated using 3D printed molds. The case is the same with the leading edge and winglets of the prototype. In the top front part of the cargo bay, we find the electronics, and on the lower part, the medical cargo. Up to 8 bags of 300 grams can be accommodated in the compartment. We have never flown with this cargo, but having a little extra empty space helps us placing the bags. The main wing has been built in balsa wood, in a classic structure of ribs, spars and stringers, plus a carbon fiber tube to join both wings. To begin with aerodynamic design, we first need to choose an airfoil that maximizes the ascension ratio by means of a reduced CD. We would like to have a maximum aerodynamic efficiency, a high alpha stall and a low CM. That is why we asked SFLR5 when we introduced the different airfoils to analyze with a given Reynolds number. After the two-dimensional analysis, several airfoils were then studied in 3D case files, where, after a tough fight, the NACA 4510 was the one chosen, presenting a moderated CL max, but also the lower CD. This made us better compromising between climb and horizontal flight speed. To optimize the design, CFD has been employed for the high lift devices, winglets and cargo bay. The program used has been Star CCM Plus. In order to choose the winglet that our aircraft would carry, we analyzed the maximum takeoff weight that each of them provided, and the Wickton winglet is the one that performed the best. Regarding the flaps, one could not be surprised when the folded flap was the one to provide more lift than the simple or slotted, as it increases the core of the aircraft and re-energizes the boundary layer preventing it from detaching. The cargo bay was designed to be an airfoil shaped volume, and the CFD department approved this version, until it made one of the prototypes fall, in spectacular fashion. The aircraft couldn't do anything against the drag generated by the increment in the angle of attack and the shadow of the flat base that reached the empennage. After the incident, we decided to shape it like a water droplet, 
which significantly reduced this effect. No more plates have suffered from this fatal phenomenon. The redesign worked, and now we can take the medical cargo safely to where we need. To make our aircraft dynamically and statically stable, the cargo is always placed under the center of gravity, 7.5 cm behind the leading edge and under the wing. The maneuverability has been designed to be aggressive and fast, as we had problems in previous versions with two stable configurations. It is estimated to be able to perform turns of 180 degrees in less than a 65 meters radius, thanks to the great aileron, rudder and elevator effectiveness. In all this time, the prototypes developed have evolved, but before reaching the one we're presenting today, many of them didn't have a kind end. The first could barely fly without the payload, as the carbon fiber tubes we used were drilled to make joints. So, not taken. Do not drill carbon fiber. Then, the descendants could handle the cargo bay, but without anything in it. One second falling, yes. In this case, the design of the compartment was faulty from the beginning. After remodeling it, Additional hopes came in the shape of winlets, but with them, vibrations came along for the highest velocities we wanted, so it finished just like the previous versions. <laughs> At the end, this same prototype has been employed, but with a thicker carbon fiber lamination, which made the winlets more rigid and stable at higher velocities, and giving the following results. In the future, the Extra team plans to join more competitions. This would diversify the mission of the aircraft that we design, making us learn from other types of restrictions. We also plan to open a workshop for small aero models and do internal competition among our members, sharing and creating a stronger bonds inside the team. At the end, the operational empty weight is roughly 2.3 kilograms, and the predicted maximum payload for the 40 meters takeoff run is of 1.4 kilograms. This has been calculated by considering an estimated deflection of 25 degrees of the flaps and the air density of Munich in the summer. The configuration that has been given to the aircraft is of a conventional amperage and a traditional landing gear. The final design is seen in the images, where our main wing has a core of 20 cm, a wingspan of 2 meters, and a rectangular shape. No wing is not the best for the induced drag, but we justify this decision for being the easiest to manufacture, and we have also developed a special Wilcom Wilder to mitigate this issue. The climb rate of the aircraft is estimated to reach more than 2 meters per second with the maximum takeoff weight, which means that the height of 100 meters of the objective should be fulfilled without much of a problem within the first minute of flight. We must say that we're really happy to be back in the Air Cargo Challenge. We are really confident with the performance of our aircraft, and we hope that we can highly improve our first result in the competition. Thank you very much for your attention, oder wie sagt man in Deutschland, vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit. Lo llevas bien.